This channel I talk all the time about the importance of building projects. Building the right projects on your resume is the one way that you can put yourself ahead of other candidates and get that high paying 100k plus software engineering job even if you don't have a CS degree or any previous experience. This is because like let's face it when you're looking for your first job the employer needs evidence that you can do the job and building projects is really the only way to show that as a self-taught developer. But the thing is you also need to build the right kinds of projects I show the few key skills that employers are really looking for. In this video, I'm going to give you five options for these exact projects that you can build using Python and even finish in a single weekend. And this is not just like any other project building video you have seen either, because I don't just want to give you yet another five project ideas you will forget about tomorrow. I want to give you a blueprint to understand what makes for a great resume project so that whether you choose to build one of these projects or not, you will have a framework to think about what makes a project project something that will actually make companies go yes I want to hire this guy and at the end we will culminate this with the one thing that all these projects have in common that makes them great resume projects as well as the one magical programming project that is the most impressive out of all of them. Before we start, in order for you to have the skills to build these projects, you first of course need to have the necessary Python fundamentals and programming logic under your belt. If you haven't yet gone through a premium quality program that teaches all of this for you in one place, then I have my own program that you might want to check out down below. It's called the Python Developer Bootcamp and the purpose of it is to take all my knowledge about programming that I wish I knew before I started and take you through step by step from zero to actually getting hired as a hundred K Python developer. It's not just a programming course. The main part of the value comes from the career advice side, where I teach you how to get interviewed and how to come across as a great candidate in these interviews, including resume building advice, like literally like copy paste templates on how to build your LinkedIn, your resume, everything like this, all in one package format. So if you're tired of struggling with low quality resources and scattered information, you can check the program down below to see if it's for you. So if you haven't built many projects before, it's good to start with an easy easy win. And I think the best kind of project to do that is some kind of a Python automation project. You might consider building some kind of script to clean out your desktop, for example. In fact, right here, I have that exact kind of project. All I have to do is run the Python script and it will automatically clean out my download folder and move all of my files to separate folders based on the file type. And I actually made a tutorial way back in the early days on my channel on exactly how to build this. The one in the video is a much earlier version of this than what I have now, but it's a great place to start and something you can easily build in just a few hours. The reason I like Python automation projects so much is that they don't require a lot of specialized knowledge on top of the basic Python fundamentals that I just mentioned. So it's a great place to start. You can build some pretty cool and impressive stuff that is very easy to understand to recruiters. And that is the first key to building great resume projects. Most likely, your resume will be read by someone who doesn't have the time to think hard to understand what you build. You wanna make your projects so that they're very, very easy to understand for anyone who reads it in just two seconds. Because when you do that, they're way more likely to go like, damn, that's a pretty cool project. This guy probably knows how to code. The next great programming project idea can also be applied to many different things. For me, programming is at its coolest when I can use it to build something that actually helps me. About a year ago, I was planning my move from London to Dubai, and I wanted to understand what were the prices of apartments in Dubai and which areas in Dubai offered the best value. Of course, just going through the listings manually gave me some idea, but especially as programmers, we want to think about things like statistically on the aggregate. So I figured I could use something called web scraping to aggregate the price data from all these listings I could find and get the average prices based on different criteria like area, size, and it really helped me make my decision on where to move in Dubai. So this is one example of the next project category of web scraping. The reason this is so great is now what you're doing is taking your Python skills and combining it with a different skill of web scraping. And in the case of this project, you're also starting to bring some data science into the mix. And this is exactly what recruiters want to see. They want to see you build something more complex where you're combining multiple facets of programming skills into one to build something practical and interesting that actually does something useful for you. In terms of how to do this, I recommend you just pick up some basics on Beautiful Soup and Selenium, which are the common web scraping tools in Python. And once you get the hang of how to use them, think about a data source or a website that you would like to scrape 
and what you would like to do with it and go from there. As an example, you can just pick the most popular rental site in your city and do something very similar to what I did. Another thing you wanna consider is which area of programming are you looking to break into? For most of you, it's going to be web development using something like Django or Flask. So it's a very good idea to learn these technologies as well and what better way to do that and to show that you have learned them than by building a simple but impressive web development project into your portfolio. My recommendation, which is gonna be relevant for many people, is some kind of a budgeting tracking application. Now the key that makes this project great is that it forces you to learn all the web development basics you are expected to understand anyway as a junior developer, such as both front-end and back-end development, as well as database management because you have to store your credit card transfers transactions and budget data somewhere so this is a great way to practice that as well and depending on how you build it you will also have to learn to use apis for example a budgeting application i have been building uses the plate api to connect to your bank directly and it extracts your transaction data from there to allow you to combine all of your banks into one the way I would start is by finding some templates for a simple UI from something like ThemeForest and then just install Django and start up a Django project by running Django-admin start project and the project name. And by following the instructions from the official Django documentation, which I will link below, you can then keep going from there. Or if you're following my program, we of course go over all of this as well in a lot more detail. After that, you want to learn the basics of SQL to set up a database as well as connect your app to Plate or a similar API and then finally connect all the pieces together to build your first Python full stack project that is really going to boost your resume. Now, all of these projects so far are great, but if you really want to impress, you might consider this next project, which is a simple AI application. And before you skip ahead, I'm not talking about like learning all the AI theory from scratch and building an LLM or something like that. I'm talking about starting with something simple, like a simple recommendation system, for example. In a moment, I will tell you another project that you can combine this with, but the way you can do this in just one weekend is by using a library called Psychic Surprise, which is a purpose-built library in Python to allow anyone to build recommendation systems just by using their simple APIs. You can take a look at their docs and start with a very simple quick start guide that looks like this and you can choose any kind of data for example movie data which you may be able to gather using the web scraping skills you learn in project 2 and go from there. The key that makes this project great is it shows the level of complexity. Companies don't want to see Mickey Mouse projects that show no actual skill. If you take the time to build a recommendation system that even half works that instantly impresses companies because they can see that you're willing to go above and beyond and do more more than what most candidates do. And that is what you need to do if you wanna get ahead. Now, if you choose to use movie data for your recommendation system, you can actually combine this with the last project on our list. And this is in fact a passion project that I have been building as well myself. And that is to clone a popular application, except add your own twist to it. In my case, I have built this Netflix clone, except it's not Netflix. It's not because it's not Flix. It's ne not Netflix, not Flix. You get it? Okay, moving on. Now the idea of this app is that it's Netflix, except not just with the Netflix catalog, but the entire movie catalog of the world, basically. I wanna build an engine that can recommend all movies and series, not just the one star on Netflix, except still have sort of the Netflix UI. Because what happens when you just use Netflix to choose movies is that you lose a big part of the potential selection pool. The key here is that project like this shows a bit of personality. It shows not only that you can do something completely Complex, but also that you're able to do more than just be a copycat. There's so many people building social media clones and things like these that are exactly the same as the originals, but if you add your own twist to it, something that perhaps matches your personality or something that solves something particular for you, for something that you wanna do, they can see that you understand that programming is a tool to build the things that you wanna see rather than just blindly following instructions. And this is really, really important. So now let me finally tell you the one project that is even greater than any of these projects. Project. But first, let's take a step back and like, let's think about like, what are we actually doing when we are programming in the first place? Like really think about that question. Why are we writing code? We haven't invented this thing called coding just for the sake of it. We have invented it because we humans have realized that programming can solve a lot of problems. And that is the reason we write code in the first place. That is why what companies really look for are not 
programmers, but problem solvers. The kinds of people who understand that programming is just a tool like any other to solve problems for us humans. And that is the one thing that all of these projects that we have gone through so far have in common. They all solve a real problem. Ideally, a problem for you, a problem that you have encountered, which allows them to see that you understand that programming is just a tool to solve problems, to make your life easier. And that is also why I sort of lied to you, because there is no one magical project that works for everyone the same, but there is one magical project for you. What is the problem you want to solve with code? Think about that. If you could build anything with code to solve your biggest problems, what would that be? and then go build that or even a shitty version of it because going through that process and using that mindset will be so much more impressive than any of the code that you can write and that is what you want to lean into in interviews solve your own problems with code and then talk about the story of how you discovered the problem how you went about the process of building it because when you build something that you really really want to build it's also going to be so much more easy for you to talk about the project to be passionate about it to show your passion passion for coding and that you actually want to code rather than just doing it for the money or something. And you want to show them that you know how to think like a problem solver, not just a nerd coder. <laughs> if you keep that in mind, I know that you will succeed. After building these projects, your next step is to learn how to build a great resume and how to connect with employers on LinkedIn and other platforms to get hired as fast as possible to your dream 100k developer job. Most people take years to realize the right methods to strategically do that. And that is why I built my program, Python Developer Bootcamp, where you will not only learn all the technical skills you need, but actually on how to present yourself in the right way, how to sell yourself to companies, to actually be the kind of person that they want to hire. Because believe me, they don't just want to hire nerd programmers who just know how to write code. They want to hire people and the exact people that they want to work with. Now, I've gone through this process myself. I've helped other people do it as well. And that is why I put all of my knowledge and I have found these patterns of exactly what they look for. And that is why I decided to put it all into one package format inside my program. Program. It's pretty expensive, it's not cheap, but if you are the kind of person who's willing to invest in themselves and their career and you really, really want to do this and you don't want to waste time looking for all of this on your own from the internet, then it could very well be for you. So if you want to check it out, you can do that from the first link in the description and there's also this video right here that you can watch if you want to hear the full pitch. With that, stop watching videos and go build something. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.